like Gypsy Christine channel, please click subscribe. I'll show you more fun, crazy adventure travel videos. And thank you for watching. Sustainable living out at sea and on land. Um, it's just a beautiful feeling to catch your own food. 
And if you're a vegetarian, um, you probably don't want to watch us kill animals. And we don't like to, but we'll do it to feed ourselves. It's called sustainable living and hunting. And we only kill what we can eat and freeze. And that's it. We're not like mass murdering the whole ocean and land. And yes, I've gotten a lot of um, criticism for some of my videos because we kill beautiful animals and all creatures are beautiful. So it's what we can eat and what's legal and that's there's plenty of in the ocean and on land. So hobo simple rustic cooking. Love it. It's a beautiful feeling to be able to hunt your own food. You're self-sufficient. So if anything happens in this world, um, we can take care of ourselves. So I just love that feeling. And for all the hypocrites that eat meat and buy meat at the supermarket, unless you're a vegetarian, I can understand the, that you love life. And I love life too, but I eat meat. But for everyone that eats meat and they buy meat, think about where you're getting the meat from. Who kills the meat? Just because you didn't kill the meat doesn't mean that you're any less guilty. If you paid for the meat and you ate the meat and you don't know how it's killed, think about it. Everything that you put in your mouth, animal-wise, someone's killing it. And if you're paying for it and you're eating it, you're as guilty. So that's just my say on the people saying that it's so horrendous to be hunting and shame on us for killing a beautiful animal and eating it when our bellies are full. Um, we try not to buy as much food if we can catch it ourselves. So thank you for watching. Do you hear the crackling yummy? Ooh, crispy. Really dangerous working with boiling oil being, <laughs> being naked. <laughs> We're naked. Okay, he closed the oil, so I need to go through. Okay, while Paul s scores it in tiny pieces, I'll show you what I do. So, take the vermicelli. I use my fingers, of course. It's still a little bit warm, but that's okay. Like pasta. That's sort of a lot. But this is much lighter than pasta. Vietnamese, well, all Asian countries eat this. Ooh, hot. Um, I might have to turn off. Okay, I'm gonna turn off this. So Paul is putting the crunchy coral trout. You can use um, fillets of fish, but since we're eating the spine, because we hate wasting anything, um, so most people won't be doing this. Just whatever fish. Any vegetables, uh, bean sprouts are really good. I um, sprout my own bean sprouts, but I haven't um, for the last few days, so we don't have bean sprouts. I also like to put fresh chilies. We don't have any fresh chilies. <laughs> so it's um, sustainable living with what you have on board too. So it's a mix. And it saves a lot of money, and it's not just saving money, it's just how can you fucking get any fresher than this? It's so good. And look at this. Nature's bounty. It's so abundant when you're not green. If you like Gypsy Christine channel, please click subscribe. I'll show you more fun, crazy adventure travel videos. And thank you for watching. Very healthy. Mmm. We eat it with the vegetables on the bottom. And this is a very healthy way of eating. Thanks for watching. If you like Gypsy Christine channel, please click subscribe. I'll show you more fun, crazy adventure travel videos. And thank you for watching. It's around 6.35. Um, I dragged myself out of bed and this is what I look like. Uh, messy hair and stuff. Um, to exercise. I haven't exercised for maybe over a month. Ever since my partner in the marina left for home, my exercise partner. And um, this is the state the boat is in. Not so shabby, so let's go walking. I should have filmed the boat when we were up in the hard. Um, 
very very messy everything like you can't even walk out here um but we have it mostly cleaned up because we're almost ready to go outside the marina we've been here way too long maybe the boat six months me almost four months we have the most junk on our walkway um that's not ours so Ocean View Marina in Davao, Philippines. So walking to the stairs, I'm going to try to do five times. I'm really out of shape. Check every day for limes. So here's a lime right now. Love these limes. These are the steps. Um, I can't remember how many steps. Good morning. Um, yes, I'm going to try to do five times, maybe four. So let's go do it. Let's start. They're building a resort apartment here which hasn't been finished yet. Oh, my back hurts. I hate not working out for a long time and then starting again. It's so painful mentally and physically. Oh. Here's the view. Oh, look, a bird's nest. Oh, it's empty. Yay, I'm at the top. Here's the view. I don't know if GoPro will capture that. So I only did like half of one, and I have to stretch and put my water away. Look at who we have the laggard Paul. So he's gonna try to catch up to me, and he likes to run. I don't run anymore, I just walk. I just finished three stairs. I'm gonna go stretch and drink some water. December 11th, 2018. We're in Davao, Philippines after cruising for Indonesia six months. And Vimeo was banned in um, Indonesia because I think they considered it porn. So I wasn't able to upload anything, so I stopped making movies. So after we got here, I flew to the States for two months. So we've been here pretty long and we're almost ready to go. Um, so I'm going to start doing videos again with travel videos. It's really hard to be FKK in Asia, the Philippines. So I'm just going to do travel stuff until I can get to a remote island. So stay tuned. Gypsy Christine.